we will be setting aside animated for a while because right now it's about universe universe and universe and you can see here universe but it says here classic series I bought this one I bought these ones at KB Toys you can see it's more expensive but I can't find them anywhere else I think the storyline for this stuff is based on after the movie and not G1 because on the back of the box, if you read it, it's pretty similar to the movie. Get this guy out here. Instructions, don't need the Onslaught. Ultra Series, this is the only one that I haven't been able to find. Now, everyone loves the classic series because of how it's G1 but made new. The only other pro I have is the Robots in the Skies one. And it, ha it has some similarities to Pro, but it's still not authentic G1. This one set the bar really high. Crow came with a little gun here, fold out. That's old school. Fold out, yeah. You can pretty much see where everything goes down here. The windows are kind of a tinted plastic. The back one is painted. The siren, completely red. It's got a little texture things right here. Autobot symbol. Clear plastic headlights. I really like these. These are nice. Looks like the head flips out right here. And four tailpipes and the spoiler. Nice looking police car. Highway patrol police. Rolls fine. The black back lights are pretty cool. Even though they're not plastic, but they, the paint job makes it look really cool. It's pretty shiny. Right, looking good. So, let's see. Let's see if we can transform this guy. Take the back bumper. Pulls out. This thing splits apart. Break it down. And that becomes the feet. The little knee pads or whatever. The feet has little heel spurs. But it's got, well, it kind of has a little ankle joint, but it's not really. It's, the feet snap into place though. That's pretty cool. <laughs> Gonna look at the box here. Looks like you're supposed to fold this part down. But I haven't seen any reviews of this guy yet. I know they're on YouTube, I just chose not to see them because I want a great first impression. But it feels like I have some automorph. Let's see. Um, I think this is supposed to be Automorph, but... Mm, what do I do now? Okay, it looks like this thing goes down. Wow. Come on. Uh, there's the little laser things. Just broke the door off. Come on. Haven't read the instructions, haven't done anything like that. I'm just looking at the thing. Looks like it's supposed to go like that. 
kind of like, kind of reminds me of the alternators with the arms and everything like this. Um, are you supposed to flip it, flip the head up first? Okay, so the head comes out. And then you fold it down? Oh, is this thing work? Um... Hmm. So... Let's see if we can do something about this. I don't want to break this or anything. But... Hmm. It looks like it has two joints here, so I'm just going to try to slide this thing up. Hopefully it will work. Really, really tight. Okay, so, are these supposed to be like shoulder pads or something? I think these are supposed to fold up somehow. Let's see if we can get that done. I think these are supposed to fold up like that, but I'm not sure. Uh, get them like that without removing them. Uh, so I'm just going to remove them, fold them up, and put them back on. I hope that's not the right way to do it because that would really suck for the... for the... what am I trying to say? For the good lasting goodness of the toy I don't know um, arms go up again really reminds me of the alternator stuff I hear that the alter they're coming out with a new alternator line which I can't wait for and there you have Pro wow So good looking, good looking robot, looks a lot like G1, and close up on the face here, looking pretty good. Guess you're supposed to fold out these back things manually. I wish they were spring loaded, but yeah, if you're just going to use it for, oh that's cool. The back piece just folds up right in there. Perfect place for it. So, pretty good looking robot mode. Reminds me a lot about a lot of G1. Still a pretty cool toy. Plus, it has low feet, which are pretty cool. And I guess that's it for the transformation. So, pretty simple transformation. The back of the head is light blue. Nice looking robot. Again, this is great for nostalgia. From what I see from nice nostalgic um, transformer, but people also want quality. And this is a really good quality toy. I wish these shoulder cannons were painted silver. I mean, I. I know we're not we're not gonna get chrome, but just leaving them white like this doesn't really look all that great. But the Japanese version will probably have chrome. Nostalgia, great for the new fans, great for everybody. Hasbro is continuing the classics line with a great toy.
And if this is what they're going to come up with, I hope that there is a lot more coming our way. This is Meta Play Reincarnated. NPR, out.